Yeah, we're going to record it. So, uh, hello and thank you for joining this event today. Uh, it's organized by Swedish Institute uh, Alumni Network in Ukraine. And I'm one of the board members. My name is Alan Napchenko and today I'm also a host. Uh, and we today have super interesting topic, time. And we're going to know um, about time as a concept, time uh, perception of it, what now means in different culture, and of course, uh, why time is irreversible. So we're going to have 15 minutes of lecture by a leg and then 40 minutes of discussion. So after the lecture, you can uh, ask yourself a question or you can also send it to me in the chat. It's up to you. And a few words about our speaker. Uh, it's uh, Oleg Dmitriev. He's a scientist. He's a um, senior research fellow in the Institute of Physics. He's also a scholar of Swedish Institute. And um, the last but not least, he is a writer. And the uh, lecture today is based on his book, What Does Your Clock Show? So, Oleg, uh, the stage is yours, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ava, for the kind introduction and uh, uh, hello to everybody who respects uh, time and time concepts and your personal time. Uh, today it is a uh, difficult and a simple task for me to uh, tell about uh, time uh, because uh, everybody knows what is time but nobody knows what, is, what time is and the uh, time concept was a subject of discussion uh, from uh, ancient Greeks to nowadays and uh, still time has very different faces and uh, uh, in principle it's difficult to describe everything uh, during less than one hour uh, but uh, I prepared well and I wrote a special book about time so I start with uh, maybe a uh, presentation of my book. Uh, Allah, please, uh, can you uh, yeah, yeah. allow me to share a screen? <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Uh, yes, please. Does it work now? Um, okay. Yes. Great. Okay. Oh. Uh, so uh, my secret uh, goal of this presentation uh, is to attract more readers, more readers for my book, and to disseminate my book for the wide audience. Uh, so I start with um, presentation of time in different measurements because uh, we can tell about time in uh, different fields, such as uh, physics, time of our universe, uh, biological time, time of our organism, uh, our psychological, psychological time, <clears throat> and our cultural time. Um, so first of all, I would like to mention uh, four famous scientists uh, who determined our imagination about uh, time, who uh, put forward uh, time concepts. And the uh, first uh, scientist was uh, Isaac Newton, who, um, whose time concept was uh, who tell that time is absolute. That means that uh, time intervals are uh, the same for everybody on the Earth for everybody on any planet, uh, in any place of our universe. In fact, this concept implies that uh, time flows uh, homogeneously and independently on the, the physical conditions uh, where it flows. And uh, in fact, it implies also that uh, a clock is in the hand of, uh, of the god who counts time interval, and these time, time intervals are equal for, uh, for everything and for everybody. 
So the uh, second scientist is Leibniz. In fact, Leibniz was a contemporary, con, uh, contemporary of, uh, Newton, uh, of Newton, but he thought differently. Uh, he told that uh, time is due to uh, physical processes, due to the movement, due to the cycles, due to the um, some periodic motion uh, in, in, in our nature. Therefore, if there is no motion, then there is no time. So time is a derivative from the physical processes which are in the constant motion and uh, mm, uh, time is determined by these processes. In principle, I like this concept and in my presentation, I will follow this concept. I will show you that uh, uh, processes in different uh, fields, uh, like physics, like psychology, like bi biology uh, and culture, in fact, determine our time uh, perception and time counts. Uh, the other scientist, Mitro, uh, went even uh, further and he, uh, he uh, said that time uh, is our Im uh, imagination. It is based on a rhythm that we perceive. Uh, in principle, uh, he uh, put forward the concept uh, that uh, time is a mental construction, which is not present in the nature, and uh, our time perception is only our, how we think about the processes in the nature. And finally, the uh, fourth famous scientist is Einstein, who said that time is relative, it is relative uh, in respect to the uh, where we uh, are located, uh, with which velocity we are moving, and so on. So I start with uh, the concept of time in physics, because I am a physicist. For me, it is more uh, a relative field. And uh, um, According to Leibniz, uh, time appears when motion appears in our universe. And our universe was born with Big Bang, which also gave rise to the start of, of, of the time. In principle, in the uh, first stage of uh, universe evolution, the uh, universe was very hot. Uh, temperature was very uh, high and processes was very uh, rapid in the universe. And also the um, photons which uh, uh, were born in, uh, in this period of, of uh, universe uh, evolution had a very short wavelengths. So if you know, there is a physical clock uh, called atomic clock which measure time counts by uh, wavelengths of photons which uh, uh, atom can illuminate, uh, atom can emit. So in the early universe, the uh, wavelengths of photons were very short. So we can uh, uh, say that time was uh, very weak in this period. But during evolution, when our universe uh, cooled down, uh, the processes uh, also become more slow and time also time counts become more longer and time slows down as well. So during uh, evolution of our universe, time is, was not homogeneous, it uh, changed its uh, rate. Uh, one of the uh, interesting phenomena which uh, follows from the uh, theory of relativity of Einstein is a twin paradox. In this paradox, uh, two brothers, uh, two, uh, two brothers which are twins, uh, experience a, a different, uh, live in different experience. One brother uh, stay on the earth and the other brother uh, experience uh, 
space flight during many, many years. And when he returned back to the Earth, he observed that his brother looks uh, older than himself. And this paradox Einstein explained by uh, the fact that the uh, clocks in the system which move with a different speed run, different, run differently. I would add uh, that uh, the explanation of this paradox uh, can be due to the uh, account of the fact that the astronaut experiences uh, also um, um, gravitation, different gravitation than his brother on the Earth. And gravitation also plays a very important role uh, on the clock, uh, how our clock run. Um, for example, if we compare the gravity in, on different planets, of course, for example, uh, on the moon, we can uh, perform uh, Olympic records, uh, which are, will be more pronounced than records on the Earth, because on the moon we can run faster, we can jump uh, higher, and also uh, pendulum clocks on uh, this planet uh, will have uh, longer uh, periods, uh, because the period uh, is uh, described by this formula shown on the bottom. This is the only formula in, the, in my presentation. But what is uh, important that the period of uh, time <coughs> of a pendulum is dependent on the parameter g, which is uh, uh, due to the gravity of the planet. And the more, uh, the higher mm, gravity uh, uh, the planet has, the shorter will be the periods of the time count. And in principle, in our universe, there are mm, cosmic objects with a very high gravity, colossal gravity, which slows down uh, time periods uh, so that, for example, if gravity is very uh, colossal, the uh, time periods uh, approach zero and a clock can stop. Uh, such objects are, for example, a black hole, which possess a colossal fantastic gravity. And, uh, for example, if we approach the uh, surface of this black hole, our collapse will stop. Uh, imagine if our missile, which uh, which uh, flies uh, near the uh, black hole, has a powerful engine and it can escape the gravity of the black hole and can continue its um, movement outside of the black hole. What we can expect, what time we will observe. Uh, uh, will we observe uh, continuous time? For example, if we were 20 years old before black hole, will we have 21 years old or some other uh, value of uh, age. Uh, in principle, I can uh, uh, demonstrate what happened in this case. So I should uh, stop my uh, sharing for a while and show you what can happen. For example, uh, this is uh, our time uh, flow. And uh, imagine if we have uh, some black hole which uh, distort our uh, space time. It can distort space time in this manner. For example, if the black hole is located here between this uh, sheet. And uh, I think you can, it should be a bit higher. It's not, we don't uh -huh. see. Yeah, okay. thank you. So again, this is our time, space time. And when we have black hole uh, nearby, this space-time became distorted by 
high gravity and for example our missile if we can uh, move through this black hole we can go from the from the present to the future uh, by escaping this way uh, for the normal uh, uh, for the normal time flow we should uh, we should uh, 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 run this line but uh, if we have a distortion of uh, space time and uh, missile which can uh, flew through this uh, gravity then we can uh, jump from the presence to the future or from the presence to the past. Okay, now I... Can I ask a question? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, so when you're talking about uh, traveling to the future, to my understanding, is that we, we are referring to the ballistic missiles goes into the atmosphere? Hmm? Uh, no, this example um, uh, tells about missile which uh, goes near black hole. Black hole is a cosmic object which has a colossal gravity which absorbs everything. Uh, all, uh, if, for example, a planet become nearby this black hole, it will be absorbed by black hole. Uh, all mm, photons will be absorbed by black hole. But if we have a missile with very powerful engine, uh, in principle, technically, it is not possible yeah. now. But if we uh, imagine that we have su such a missile, we can go from the mm, presence to the future or from, from the present to the past. All right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, this is demonstrated by this uh, picture. This is again our um, uh, time, flow of our time in the normal mode. And this is a wormhole, which is created by the black hole here. And if we are successful, we will be successful to move through this wormhole. We can go from the <coughs> present to the future or from the present to the past. The other interesting property of time is its irre irreversibility. You know, so for example, if we mix uh, two gases, uh, we will make, we will, we will get a, a homogeneous uh, mixture. Or for example, if we uh, throw a piece of sugar to the water, sugar will be completely dissolved but we cannot collect sugar molecules back to get uh, solid sugar in the same uh, liquid and this reflects the property of uh, uh, time property which is irreversible the other example uh, for example if we threw uh, breeds uh, in an arbitrary manner and uh, of course in this process we uh, most of all uh, get a pile of um, unordered uh, uh, bricks um, sure we can uh, we can uh, get uh, an ordered pile but in this case we should spend more energy and more efforts to to build this ordered while of bricks. So in nature, uh, if the processes uh, run arbitrarily, simultaneously, uh, normally we have an uh, increase of disorder. And in order to support uh, the order in the nature, we need to spend additional energy. For example, in the living nature, if we want to um, support our uh, organism in high order uh, we need to consume food which is which give us energy uh, to keep our body in high order 
but uh, time is irreversible normally, and uh, this is uh, called uh, time error in physics. Uh, this is a good illustration uh, of uh, the property of, of irreversible property of time. Uh, this picture was taken uh, on Virgin Islands, where a uh, sugar factory were erected uh, two centuries ago. Uh, but now you can see that uh, jungle absorbed everything and factory and uh, cane fields around. And uh, this picture illustrates very well uh, time irreversibility. Uh, we can also observe irreversible process of aging of our organism because we uh, we are born, we grow up, we age, and finally we die. But there is no uh, reverse process unfortunately, in biology. So I go to the second part of time, time in biology or clocks of our organism. Uh, in nature, uh, in living nature, there are a few uh, key rhythms which are attributed to the living organism. And these uh, rhythmic processes uh, determine our biological time. The faster these processes uh, take place, the more uh, faster is our uh, time and uh, more short our live, life. Uh, in principle, uh, which uh, key rhythms are available in our other or organism? The first one is the hyphlic uh, uh, limit, which tells that we uh, have only 50 cell divisions during our uh, lifetime. Also, we have a limited amount of breaths, about 200 million, and a limited amount of heartbeats, about 1 billion. These limits are typical for uh, many uh, living uh, beings, uh, but uh, our lifespan is dependent uh, on the intensity of these processes. If uh, these processes uh, run very quick, then uh, our life will be short. But if these processes uh, are slow, then our life will be more extended. This is illustrated by the comparison of the mouse and elephant, who has, had, has uh, have different uh, rates of heart and resp respiratory rate, and uh, of course they have different uh, lifespan. Uh, so one indicator of our lifespan is uh, heart pulses. For example, if you measure your pulses and compare with, the, with the other people, you can roughly evaluate who will live longer. And in principle, there are some exercises how to slow down your average heart, heart beats, your heart impulses by special exercises. Um, the other mm, interesting uh, parameter of uh, time in biology is uh, different periods of, uh, um, uh, of our mm, childhood, for example. Uh, different living beings have a different uh, period of childhood and uh, this uh, length is dependent on the cycles of our bones and teeth. Uh, Timothy Bromage, uh, a paleontologist, uh, found that our, our teeth has a cycle uh, which is different for different uh, animals. For example, for squirrel, monkey, this period is three days, for sheep, 
five days, for human eight days, for elephant uh, 14 days, and so on. And this period of growth of our bones and teeth determine the, uh, how long we have our childhood. So the childhood period is uh, shortest for the uh, squirrel monkey and the longest for the elephant in this uh, sequence of animals. Um, the other interesting question that uh, uh, we can have a similar physical age, but our biological age can be different. And it depends on many factors, uh, like uh, sun exposure, like smoking, alcohol, stress, and lifestyle style overall. Uh, this picture demonstrates two pairs of, of twins who were born in the same day. The left pair were born, uh, they are 56 years old, and the, uh, on the right, twins are uh, 52 years old. Uh, but if we compare um, how old they uh, uh, are looking, we can see that the uh, people in the uh, middle of this picture look younger than their sisters. And this is because they have, have more healthy lifestyle. Um, there are molecular mechanisms which determine uh, clots of our organism. Uh, this mechanism is based on functioning of our D DNA molecules, and the mechanism is rather complex. I can explain it, but maybe if you have more questions, not now at, at this slide. Uh, and um, uh, there were many scientists who investigated, uh, who tried to find uh, which molecules, which cells are responsible for clocks in our organism. And in 2017, uh, three American scientists were awarded by Nobel Prize for discovery of clock genes in our organism. But before this uh, discovery, it was a great work of other scientists who made experiments with different animals to find uh, uh, cells which are responsible for uh, biological clocks. For example, uh, experiments of British scientist Harker, who made uh, her experiment 50 years ago, and she uh, liked uh, cockroach and um, he took two kinds of cockroach one New Zealand cockroach and the other one a British cockroach and because New Zealand and, Brit and Britain uh, has a time difference of 12 o'clock uh, the behavior of these animals were different when one uh, cockroach was active the other one uh, was sleeping and vice versa so Harker uh, replaced the cells which are responsible for uh, clock activity of the British cockroach with cells of the New Zealand um, cockroach. And after a few days, uh, this British cockroach uh, adopted the time of New Zealand uh, animal and became uh, active synchronously with activity of New Zealand cockroach. In the other experiment, uh, scientists combined cells of both cockroach in one animal. And what happened uh, in this case? Animal become, uh, becomes disoriented and died very soon. So the uh, animal could not survive with two different clocks which showed a uh, time difference uh, as much as 12 uh, hours. Uh, 
Of course, I know that uh, many of you uh, want to find Yath Elixir to prolong your life and to look younger. And uh, there are some recipes in this direction. One recipe is <coughs> DNA replication problem. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, as I mentioned, our cells divide a limited amount of uh, time. And uh, this uh, division is accompanied by shortening of N groups of uh, DNA, which uh, are called telomere, uh, and which uh, have protect, uh, protecting function. With each division, the telomere uh, lengths become shorter and shorter, and finally, uh, telomere disappear, and uh, this is the signal for our organism that this is the last step of our life. So scientists uh, now uh, uh, look for uh, how to um, overcome this problem and how to prevent shortening of telomere. And in this way, uh, they can find the elixir how to prolong our life. The other method is uh, adding of stem cells to our organism. Stem cells are special uh, cells which uh, are in abundant in, uh, for example, in embryo, and which are then uh, can convert to to uh, specialized uh, cell, can repair damaged cells, and in this way uh, can help us in. Uh, uh, in more uh, healthy uh, life. The third method is uh, consumption of antioxidants, which are well known uh, food uh, ingredients. And, uh, uh, but the problem is that uh, uh, antioxidants uh, cannot always reach the target uh, in our cells which require these antioxidants. So scientists now uh, develop uh, methods how to penetrate antioxidants to our cell uh, where they can find special targets uh, to restore uh, our gut and to prevent uh, uh, harmful processes in our cells. Um, of course, we have more simple and uh, uh, more known methods how to restore our uh, health and to prolong our life, uh, which uh, these methods are listed here. So one method is a uh, cold. For example, if we uh, cool down our body by few tenths of degrees, uh, then we can help our organism to live a longer life. The same is with lower calorie diet. Uh, and uh, we can uh, take care about this diet beginning from 30 years old. Uh, if, if we can to, to, to be more healthy and to have longer life. Uh, the other, the other uh, known methods is uh, following of sleep rhythm, uh, following of nutrition rhythms, and physical activity rhythms. Um, here I can show you um, one example of sleep activity. Our sleep is not homogeneous during night. It alternates with uh, phases of uh, fast, uh, sleep and uh, slow sleep. Uh, slow sleep prevails uh, uh, in the early phases of our sleeping and uh, fast sleep begin to prevail uh, closer to the morning hours. But what is important that in order to uh, 
to be healthy, we need to, to, to live at least three, uh, three cycles, which is equal to six hours. Six hours is a minimum for our sleeping. And uh, under condition, then we begin our sleeping at uh, appropriate time, like 10 or 11 uh, o'clock in the evening. So now I go to the other uh, field of uh, uh, time, uh, time in psychology or clock of our mentality. Uh, as I told you, uh, the concept of uh, Leibniz implies that time is measured by mm, some uh, processes uh, in this field, and these processes correspond to our emotions. Emotions are the measure of our mental time. The more emotion we have, uh, more time we, uh, more hours we perceive uh, to spend. Uh, for example, if we compare the mm, uh, mental time of a child and an adult uh, uh, during the day, a child has uh, much more emotions than uh, an adult, and for child, time runs very slowly because it has plenty of emotions and uh, um, a child perceives that there are many hours in uh, in her or his uh, day. But for adults, the day runs very quickly uh, because uh, it uh, has not so much emotion like a child and uh, time uh, perception is uh, very uh, shortened for the adult. Uh, a similar uh, property can be found when we travel in unknown place. Uh, for example, uh, when I was in Sweden uh, and uh, Linköping University, which has two campuses, one in Linköping, the other in North Shopping, and I was located in North Shopping. When I and I traveled sometimes between the two campuses, <clears throat> my first uh, travel. Uh, was accompanied by uh, plenty of emotions because the way it was new for me. I noticed many details during my traveling uh, and I had many emotions. So the uh, road from North Shopping to Lin Shopping, uh, my first road was very saturated and uh, uh, very long in terms of mental time. But the return way, when I was tired and when the road was known for me, I had much less emotions and the road was more quick for me. Mental time flew very short. Uh, also, if we have uh, uh, different emotions, like uh, positive and negative emotions, time uh, flows differently. If we have uh, positive emotions, uh, time perception is very short because we like uh, this, uh, this comfort uh, state when we have positive emotion and we want to extend uh, this uh, a comfort zone, we want to extend this uh, time uh, length, and we think that <clears throat> time is very short for this period of time. But if we have negative emotion, we tend to escape this discomfort zone, and we think that time flows very slowly, which lengthens our mental time. Uh, now I want to mention again a uh, uh, famous scientist Wittrow who uh, said that time is a mental construction and is based on the reason that we perceive. Uh, and uh, this uh, uh, time concept can be uh, used in order to explain why we 
perceive uh, future time because a future time uh, is uh, normally a mental construction which we cannot perceive yet but uh, which we can think about and uh, this uh, is due to the uh, property of our uh, our um, <coughs> mental property that we can uh, unite uh, objects, similar objects, in the same object. For example, uh, circles. In this picture, we can unite in the tri tri triangle, and the objects, uh, small triangles, we can unite to the uh, big uh, triangles. So here we can see three different triangles. Uh, and uh, on the right side, we can see uh, that there are two lines which have uh, discontinuity in the center, and in principle, we can uh, think that uh, um, this discontinuity separate our past and our future. Uh, finally, the last block of my presentation is cultural perception of time. Uh, uh, you know that different nations, different cultures uh, interpret uh, time interval, intervals differently and they have different relation to uh, temporal rela relationships, for example, lateness. For example, uh, for European mind, uh, uh, lateness is acceptable if uh, uh, person is late for a few minutes, but for example, for Latin American, uh, uh, lateness is acceptable if a person is late by one hour. And uh, also uh, time flow is uh, pre uh, mm, presented differently. For example, for European uh, culture, time is uh, an arrow which uh, flows from the past to the future and which has no limitation. Uh, in the future. For the uh, Chinese culture, time uh, is cyclic. It is a, a, a sequence of uh, different cycles and in principle events which uh, uh, happen in the first cycle can, uh, can be repeated in the second or in the further cycles. Uh, for Indian culture, time is multidimensional. For Australian Aborigines, time is absent because they dream about past time which stops for, for them. And uh, for Mayan culture, time has, uh, it is um, normally accepted that Mayan time has some limit, uh, but in fact, uh, this limit uh, is not true because uh, Maya interpreted the uh, end of the time as the end of a certain epoch and beginning of the other epoch, which is similar to time imagination in uh, Chinese culture. Uh, I want to give you one example about a different uh, uh, perception of time in uh, Spanish culture. Uh, in Spanish culture, there is a concept of mañana, which means uh, a temporal uh, relationship, like, and means, uh, has a very wide meaning. It can mean uh, in few minutes, in few hours, in few days, in few months, or never. It has a very wide interpretation and depends on the on people which on on the uh, on, uh, uh, on 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 a per person who who uses this uh, um, word. And what is interesting that uh, the uh, uh, time. Uh, 
uh, time det determination become more and more uh, smeared when we move from Spain to Portugal and then to Latin America, uh, because in these countries, uh, time uh, slows down and uh, manana, which in Portuguese is uh, mania and in uh, Latin America equivalent of this word is ahorita, means that uh, when a person uh, tell you ahorita, that means uh, most probably never than in few minutes. And uh, there is uh, um, uh, anecdote when Spaniard meets Portuguese and they discuss the concept of manana. Portuguese uh, ask the Spaniard, what, uh, what is uh, uh, manana exactly is on, in your language? Spaniard answer, well, it uh, can uh, mean later or it can uh, mean tomorrow or maybe the day after. It can also mean next week, next month or next year. Some, sometimes it can even mean never. I see, says Portuguese, I think I understand now. So, says Spaniard, how would you say this manana in Portuguese? The Portuguese think, thinks a while and replies, I do not believe there is a word in our language that can express such a degree of urgency. This is the anecdote, and uh, I want to uh, conclude my presentation again with the content of my book, which is shown here. And I hope uh, 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 those of you who are interested to get this book, you are welcome to contact me by email, which is shown here on the bottom of this slide or by, through my Facebook <coughs> page. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Uh, we can leave the screen really now. Uh, I think it was a super interesting lecture and I got a lot of insights, especially that emotions connect with the uh, perception, of our perception of time. Uh, now it explains a lot. Uh, and now we still have time and I would like to invite you uh, who just listen to this lecture to have a discussion to ask questions that we got, or maybe just share your insights, or what was the most interesting. If anyone wants to share. <clears throat> 